My name's Coogan Cassius, this is iFilm London. We're at York Hall here. With me I've got one of the most recognisable faces in sports presenting. He's back on our TVs with Box Nation, Richard Keyes. How are you, Richard? Uh, I've, uh, good. Um, no, buzzing. What a night. Brilliant night. What a night. Extraordinary night. They said it would be a little bit special. Um, there is always something about a first night and uh, for Box Nation. They could not have wished for more. Uh, you know, spiritual home of British boxing has just seen... I think something right up there with the great, great fights that this place has actually witnessed. It's, uh, I'm honestly, I'm wow. Walsh, Appleby, Walsh, Appleby, Walsh, Appleby. Oh. How have you made up of the whole night in general um, with the Steve Amira fight and the other the undercard fights? Um, Box Nation, Queensbury Promotions as a whole. Uh, what's your outlook on it? I'm, I'm delighted for them. I think a lot of people have put a, obviously a lot of time and effort into it. Um, I think they got the go ten days back. Ten days. So between uh, you know one week and, and three days, they've got the bill together, they've got the fighters together, they've kept it under wraps. They had a, a, a press conference announcement that nobody knew about. Um, it's extraordinary. Television vans into into the place, uh, an eight camera rig tonight. And honestly, trust me, unbelievable to pull that together in, in in that in that time. And then, if you can't be good, be lucky. They often say, don't they? Uh, the Warren boys were lucky tonight in, 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 in so many respects. Good in so much as that they put their bill together with thought, but lucky that it turned out to be so, so, so top thumping, heart thumping. Um, how much of a difficult decision was it for you uh, to join Box Nation? Because obviously you've graced our screens with Sky Sport for 20 years. It's like any real football supporter <laughs> would feel you a part of their life because Sundays and Mondays. Were, you know, we know to watch you and Andy, but so how difficult was that to and now? What trying to say, is it good to be back? Yes, yes. it's good to be back. <laughs> you know what? When you left, when you left, it's like my girlfriend left me. It's because then it's true. I've been watching Sky Sports since '92. You miss me more than your girlfriend, don't you? What's that? You of course. Yeah. I miss Andy more. To be honest with you. <laughs> if there's one Scottish pundit that I like, it's Andy Gray. I'll just tell you something about my mate, the best. That's why I went. Once they got shot at him, I had to go. Um, no, he's the best. Uh, top top bloke as well. I listen, I wish he could have been here tonight. I said come down because it would have just been terrific to come and witness. But I know he sat at home. He sent me a message earlier, all the best. Uh, difficult to come uh, and work for Box Nation tonight? No. Um, I, I, I left uh, uh, Hatfields on the South Bank around about 1 o'clock, crawled here. Not a problem. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Do you miss the football days? Um, I, yes. know he's with, I know he's on TalkSport. No, yes and no, but, but for that reason. Listen, the guys at TalkSport have been fantastic to me and Andy, given us a platform, given us an opportunity to, to, to you know, obviously broadcast. And uh, I've really, I genuinely, really, really have enjoyed it. I think there's one thing makes some radio, television, if, if people are laughing, I think, you know, if, if a dressing room's in good order, you've got a chance of success. And me and Andy are laughing again. It's been a little while, but we're having a laugh again. If I wasn't such a massive football fan as I'm a boxing fan, I, I was on the verge of boycotting Sky Sports. But that is your decision. That is my decision. I know you're not going to comment on that. And I'm, I'm only, listen, I'm only joking. But it was, when you're used to watching something constantly and following it, like you and Andy have been for 20 years on that channel, for supporters, it is a bit of a, oh my God. But listen, everything changes. Um, you know, I grew up watching David Coleman. Um, the best for me, you know, just simply the best. Uh, lineham has gone. But um, we're not gone yet. Hey, trust me, I'm Box Nation right now. Is uh, oh. it's, a, it's the start of something very big. Listen, if they can, you can't do this week in, week out. You can't do this night in, night out. But but I think, I'm looking around here tonight, this has been a night out, a really good night out for a lot of people. It's ended at 11 o'clock. You know, the pubs are still open. Um, if, you, if you can do this on a Friday and a Saturday night in and around various different venues, up and down the country, I think you've got a winner. And it is, it is something that, it's so obvious. Why hasn't somebody done it before? Mm. Why? Well, that's a very good question, and I suppose the answer to that is they have now Frank Warren, Francis Warren, yeah. the whole Warren team, and, and their, their promoters abroad as well. So Good luck to the lads. It's been a great experience for me, and very nice to meet you, big fella. Right. Thank you for Richard Keyes, said. my name's Coogan Cassius. Thank you, Coogan. This is iFilm London. That's James Helder holding the camera. Yeah, You're going to be seeing a lot of us, trust me. Uh, well, I'd like to think you might be seeing a bit more of me. <laughs> With Richard Keyes for iFilm London, thank you very much. I'm Richard Keyes, and you're watching iFilm London. iFilm. 
Eiffel. Blond, 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 blond.